So what we're doing here is a rainbow trout spawning survey. This is called Ross Springs, which is a tributary for the Evoca. And basically the rainbows are migrating up from Lake Coleridge and they come up into these nice stable spring creeks to spawn. And there's reds here in front of me, which is basically a, a trout nest that the female or the hen digs with their tail and then lays her eggs in. Sorry, there's a trout right in front of me. It's really good to get um, a bit of elevation when you're doing these surveys. And the same applies for spotting fish when you're trying to catch them actually, it just takes the glare off. So I've got really good visibility now. Well, it should be a good season for anglers up here. Um, this area doesn't open till the 1st of December. And that's because these rainbow trout spawn so late up here. And you want to give them a chance to recover before they're, they're fished for. But they won't all remain here, but there'll certainly be plenty um, come 1st of December for anglers to have a go at. So it's really pleasing to see good numbers, so opening should be quite good up here. And because these are Lake Coleridge trout, the, the fishing should be good for um, Coleridge when that opens on the 2nd of November. So what we've got here is a really nice red. It's really deep and obvious, easy to spot. But just the depth and size of it, it looks like a really big healthy fish has dug it. Yeah, we cover a few miles with these surveys. Um, basically it's two man teams, one on each side of the stream. And you've got to cover the whole stream from where it enters the main stem, right up to where it uh, basically bubbles out of the ground as a, as a spring. So we definitely do a few k's and it's not always easy terrain as you can see. The swampy tussock, but thoroughly enjoyable. You won't believe the tally. We've got 79 reds and 38 fish, which is probably the most the stream has ever seen, I'd say. It's a really good result there. Well, I think spawning surveys are probably one of the most important things we do for various reasons. I mean, firstly, we set our regulations in Lake Coleridge based on our spawning numbers here and what we think is sustainable catch. But it also gets us in touch with the habitat. You can't really keep in touch with the fishery just sitting in an office. So coming up here every year, um, seeing the numbers, it keeps you in touch with how the fishery is performing. And because you come here every year, you also pick up habitat changes as well. If there's been a change in farming land use or a flood has wiped out a certain spawning stream, you pick it up because you do repeat visits. So yeah, very important. And um, we place a huge emphasis on this catchment because we do a lot of releases here. So therefore we do a lot of surveys to see if those releases are working. Eleven fish just in this little area here. So just in front of me here there's a female rainbow trout and it's dug a red and it's probably laid its eggs already and it's just kind of guarding it there. So there's another large red out here in front of me. fish right here in front of me sitting on a red. We've also got our low country opening on the 1st of October and sometimes that just depends on weather events just before the day as to how that's going to go. But in general we've had a pretty mild winter, not too many floods. The floods are quite devastating on trout populations and um, I've even seen mayfly hatches on this trip 
which is quite unusual for this time of year. So come opening day, you should see uh, a bit of surface activity, some mayfly hatches, and it's always good to get the trout feeding and taking dries off the surface.